Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna go through some of the products that I use now that I am trying to reduce my waist. I realized I did a video a while back that was talking about what I was planning on transitioning into. And now that it's actually been a couple years that I've been working and living in this kind of lifestyle, I thought I'd share some of my favorites. Well, let's go from head to toe. First off, when it comes to skincare, I use an oil cleansing method when it comes to my makeup. So when I'm taking off my makeup at night, I will typically use oil. You'll see that a lot of my products don't have the original labeling on them anymore because sometimes I have transitioned from the original packaging and transferred it into something that's a little more reusable. That is the case for my oil for my face. So my face oil comes in this little dropper here. I think this is jojoba oil. I took my jojoba oil that comes in a large bottle and I transferred it here. This is a little bit easier for traveling. Um, it's pretty secure. And what I do is I take a few drops on it and I just drop it onto my face. And then I use small circular motion to really get through and get the oil. And then I come in with this cloth here. I have a few of these. I actually got these from the Dollar Tree like a while ago. Um, and so the Dollar Tree was selling these. I think Walmart sells them. It's basically the cheap version of something called the makeup eraser. I don't buy makeup wipes at this point. So this cloth, when you put water on it, this cloth is really great at removing makeup. The first step is essential though, the oil cleansing, because it breaks down the makeup and makes it so that you can actually get it off your face. Um, and so I do that with eye makeup, I do that with matte lipstick, and then I will put warm water on this and then um, get it a little bit wet, and then I come back again over my face in circular motions to get rid of the makeup. It's really a three-step process. First, it's the face oil, then it's the cloth here, and then the third process is actually using my face wash. I am using the Body Shop and their cleanser. They have this really great tea tree cleanser. Once again, not in the original packaging. The original packaging was a little bit big, so I put it in one of these pumps here, and this pump, I just usually use just one pump, and I wet this brush, and I turn it on, and then circular motions all over my face. I love this Body Shop Tea Tree Cleanser. It's really, really great. I use a few other things that come from their brand. They have a really great tea tree oil. To be honest, I think I finished the original tea tree oil and this might be a refill. But I like this bottle because of the size. It's easy to travel with. Tea tree oil is great for any blemishes that you have. You can put the oil right on top of it. I use the Body Shop and their mattifying lotion. I actually no there you go I use their mattifying lotion as a primer actually for my makeup it's really matte so it does a good job it's probably a little expensive as a primer but I like the ingredients um, water is the first ingredient and it has I think it's tamunu oil yeah tamunu oil and tea tree oil so really good ingredients in there after I use the face brush I then come back with a rose water toner. I am using for the first time, this is Trader Joe's rose water facial toner. It's supposed to hydrate and refresh. It has rose water but also witch hazel in it. I am using it right now. I'm showing you because some people might not know Trader Joe's has face products. They have a really good jojoba oil also. Um, I am not in love with that um, rose water. It works. I don't like that it has witch hazel in it. I would rather have either witch hazel or rose water and not both combined. So after this runs out, I don't think I'll buy it ever again. But it's not bad. It's not doing a bad job at all. It does kind of like suck up the moisture in my skin. It does make my skin a little dry. So that's the reason why I'm probably not gonna buy it again. I feel like rose water by itself is gentle enough. I'm already thoroughly cleansing my skin with my cleanser, which is the tea tree cleanser. I don't think I need to cleanse it and then do witch hazel also. So just for me, I might not continue that, but I will most definitely go back to my beloved rose water that I was using before I ran out. With my toner, I have a reusable um, cotton round here and this cotton round I just use it 
to get off any of the extra junk on my face. Usually by the time I get to the toner, there's not much to put on this cotton round. Honestly, the makeup is gone, my skin is cleansed, this is just to kind of like dry off my face. These cotton rounds, once again, are from the dollar store. They came in a pack of maybe five and I bought ten all together and I use them and I wash them and then use them again. So I really like those types of things, cutting out waste. I'm not having to use cotton balls for cleansing every day. I can use these and kind of put them aside. I could take a laundry's delicates bag and I can put them all in there and throw them in the wash. The problem is I lose track of these so easily. I need to have a better system of like maybe a little uh, laundry box in my bathroom for them because I lose them all the time. So vitamin E cream, intense moisture. This thing right here is so good. It's so good. I've I've been, it's the only vitamin E cream I will use. I hope they never discontinue it. And it's really great because it helps with the appearance of age spots and scarring. I love it because it goes on matte. Matte. So I rub it into my face and I feel like my face is moisturized but also mattified at the same time, which is not what you would expect from a cream like this. It's thick. It's a thick cream. So I am somebody who gets super oily, but I put this on anyway because of that mattifying effect. So I really love this. I use this in the morning, exclusively in the morning. In the nighttime, my nighttime routine, I'm typically working on fixing things like hyperpigmentation or scarring, those types of things. I am a huge fan. This is Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. Y'all, y'all. This stuff, okay, I need you to see the level also, okay? I have been using this product for a month and it takes just a couple pumps and I, I spot treat. First of all, when I first used this, I used it totally incorrectly and I took a couple pumps and put it on my entire face. I promise you I was like two shades lighter. I was like, mm, no, I'm trying to get back to the chocolate, not away from it. So after a couple days, I was like, let me chill out and do this correctly. And, um, and I put them only on my spots. It works so well, so well. I think, um, yeah, it says 85% of people who used it saw spots lighten in just one week. Very, very true. It's supposed to be used in the nighttime because it has hydroquinone in it, uh, 2%, which is kind of strong. So I make sure I only use this at night and I make sure I wash my face in the morning so that there's no trace of it when I'm going out and about in these here streets. Before I got that from Murad, I was actually using another product that I thought worked really, really well. I don't use my vitamin E cream in the nighttime because I'd rather save it for my morning and to support my skin under things like makeup. In the nighttime, I use something called Face Flavor. Face Flavor is a really cool moisturizer um, by a woman uh, that I found on Instagram actually. Tira Goes Green, I think is the name of her company. And so this product has things like avocado oil, emu oil, aloe vera, coconut oil, pomegranate seed oil, grapeseed oil, mango butter. It also has things like sunshine. So <laughs> it seems like a really weird thing to have in your ingredient list, but I love it. A little goes a long way. It's a pretty thick cream as well. I really like the fact that this cream goes on thick and it keeps your face moisturized throughout the night. I will usually spritz my face with a little bit of rose water and then I'll put this cream on top of it. It works really well. I think it kind of evens out my skin tone. So Tierra Goes Green has done us a favor and packaged this in a very affordable package. You might be like 20 something dollars for skincare, but the results are so good. I would say the texture of my skin was better. Um, the evenness of my skin was better as well, so I have to give her her props. She took a lot of care in putting these ingredients together and they work. This is just the original face flavor. There's a face flavor for men. There's a face flavor that is medicated. If you have um, heavier kind of acne issues, you can approach it with that. And it's black owned. Tierra Goes Green is this gorgeous woman. I think she's a vegan and she has locks and her skin is always glowing like shiny so i am a fan this is the only thing in her brand that i've tried but i've seen really great reviews for everything else 
I think I told you all that I use a bamboo toothbrush. I still use that. I was using a silk floss that comes in a glass container and the glass container is refillable. I don't love flossing, but because I want to keep all my teeth when I'm old, I floss. And in addition to that, I now have a water flosser. This isn't the water pick brand. This is Be My Lady brand. I found it on Amazon and it was on sale. Um, it works really well and I use it usually in the shower because the splashback is so much so I can't do it over the sink. So I keep it in my shower and it is wireless and so it is battery operated. I just charge it and it actually has lasted quite a few days. Um, and so I really enjoy it. It's a very simple setup. It's affordable and it's a really great way to do your dental hygiene. I was able to cut out the, the little bit of waste that was coming from the floss and now I could do more of this. I've heard people say that your flosser, your water flosser can't replace floss. I think that's probably true, but if you're gonna do anything at all, if you hate flossing, water flossing might be a really good way to try that out. This shaving stick is not hard to use. The learning curve is a little, I mean, you feel a little scared. You have this blade in the shower. Um, the blade that I have, it's called an Astra blade and they come in packs. I bought a pack a while back and I still haven't run through it. There's so many in there. Also the handle is really textured. It's rigid texture so it doesn't slip out of my hands when I'm in the shower. Usually I will shave with this. I forgot to bring it, it's in the shower right now. If you've ever used that crystal deodorant and it's like actually the hard crystal that you put under your armpits, that I found is actually a really great aftershave. I read about it one time on someone's blog and so that's what I started using. Legs, armpits, totally fine, no problem. Usually I try to, after I shave, put on some shea butter or some kind of lotion right after um, the shower. I think oils and shea butters really work the best for me. When it comes to lotion, I live in upstate New York and the weather has been disrespecting my skin. So I've had to change up my tactics. In the warmer months, it's perfectly fine to use something like this shea butter. This is a body butter by Elera. So I'm actually a brand ambassador for them. They make fantastic, fantastic products. This one is called Awaken has more like a citrusy, I think, scent to it. And yeah, grapefruit and yuzu. Really great body butter, so I love this. And then I also have a baby oil. And the baby oil has things like uh, chamomile oil, flower oil, all kinds of things like that. Um, so I could apply either of these two after the shower. I prefer the oil. And then if I want a really good shine, like my shine today is brought to you by Alera. So that is where that, um, that shine is coming from. So really great product. They smell great. Um, so that's what happens right after the shower. I love putting y'all on to new stuff because somebody else put me on. So I got to put y'all on too. So let's talk about deodorant. Yeah, okay, I even have three different types of deodorants here. First deodorant was the deodorant I was using when I was first trying to go natural with my deodorant, Arm & Hammer Essentials, and this is the Fresh Scent. This is a very low bar, I'm trying to transition out of aluminum deodorant. So this one has no aluminum, it has no parabens, um, and so it does have baking soda. For some people, baking soda irritates their underarms. So this is what I first started with when I was really trying to like stop using deodorant that's bad for you. Then, once again, no packaging. I kind of forgot what this brand is called, but it's a spray liquid deodorant. I think it's EOS is the brand. Um, and this was Velveteer, I think was the scent. So I really like this. I actually keep it in my purse most days when I'm trying to re-up um, and I need something that smells good but also will help me with the sweat situation. So that was, I would say that's like amateur deodorant. Now, wow, right? Okay, I don't know if you've ever seen this. All of this video is unsponsored, mind you, so please take me at my word. I'm only sharing with you things that I actually like and I actually use. This is called Lume, I think it's called Lumi or Lume deodorant. A friend of mine put me on, y'all. This deodorant is for your underarms and for your other parts, if you know what I'm talking about. So it says, odor shield for underarms and private parts. <laughs> this is so awkward. I feel like I talk about so much awkward stuff on this channel. Anyway, um, it's aluminum free, it's baking soda free, doctor developed and hypoallergenic. Um, and so basically you take a little dollop of it and you put it wherever it needs to go, under your arms, whatever. So you still sweat, but you don't smell. It's like the most weird, it's, a, it's such a weird feeling. 
Like you know you're sweating and usually you, when you're sweating you're like, oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I need to go do something about this. And so um, I was on the worship team at church yesterday and I had this on and I was sweating because the spotlights were on so bright and I was wearing some very large sweater and I was sweating. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm sweating. And then I realized, I was like, I'm wearing Lume, so I could be sweating, but nobody's gonna be smelling anything. And I, you know, did the little whiff test and I gave myself a little whiff and nothing. This particular one lasts for 72 hours and I'm hoping people are showering, like, so that they don't have to test out the 72 hours, but I guess if you were pressed and something was happening and you couldn't reapply for 72 hours, you would be good. Top of your head all the way to the bottom, the very, very bottom, and this brand is called Who Gives a Crap? Toilet Paper. Um, I buy my toilet paper in bulk, and there is a brand called Who Gives a Crap that will send a box of toilet paper all the way to your front door, and it comes wrapped in paper, really cute paper, actually, um, brightly colored, cute decorated toilet paper and it gives you all these facts good for your bum great for the world 50% of our profits are donated to build toilets 100% recycled and it's three ply I forgot to mention Ilera is also black owned they are Detroit based so two brands to check out Ilera and then face flavor both black owned and women owned so if you're trying to support small business I'll put the links below so you could check out these products Thank you all so much for watching this video. How about you? Have you transitioned over to minimal waste or zero waste or minimalism? What kind of things have you replaced in your life now that you're living this type of lifestyle that's a little more conscious about the environment? Share with us in the comments below. See you next time. Bye everyone.